how are you doing today? We are sweating. Sweating. It's very warm here in Florida. Shocking. We are uh, obviously on the ship. All right. Can you see us yet? Can you hear me now? Hello, hello, hello. We have nothing here on this end. Hmm. I'm showing nothing. Let's see. Maybe. It's spinning. Are we spinning? I'm trying to load it now. I mean, it says like a four bar. Yeah, but I don't have any comments coming. There we are. There we are. Okay. 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 Hello. 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 Okay. <laughs> so sorry, you guys. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi. Jeanette and Darlene. Darlene, hi! Attila the Fun. Attila the Fun, hello. Carol, hello. Patty. Uh, okay, you can see us. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Green Bay, woohoo, go pack, go. Beth, Beth Ash, I can't see. Uh, let's see, Lee, Mary Ellen, thank you. Happy cruise day, yes! Michelle. Good morning from New Zealand. New Zealand. Wow, Tracy, that's so amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I can't get mine to load. Let me Robert try. can't get his to load. He's had trouble with his phone all day. He's on Verizon. Hi, Julie. So, and my phone is AT&T. So, how are you guys doing today? Um, we wanted to go live from the ship with everyone else or something, but we can't get the Wi-Fi on the ship to work yet. Um... Uh, hi, hi Luke and Sky. Hi, babies. We still babies. Oh my goodness. Hi, Tony. Hi. So we are very, very excited. Um, Cherith, is that what it says? Cherith, yes. We are very excited. Um, this cruise is much needed. You guys know Sun Princess was canceled. Uh, well, we chose to cancel it. We could have gone, but we accepted the offer. Um, hey hey sharona hello um and uh so we're excited to be on the ship we had a very easy travel day yesterday and um yeah robert can't get it to work at all hi linda good afternoon mr family i have an important announcement regarding our self mastering process are they going to do the muster now we finally go live so we did do um, our muster. East Bernard, hello, Mitch. Um, can y'all hear me? I have no idea how long the announcements are going to go on. Y'all, they have not spoken a single word. We are cruising with friends. Yes, Tracy. Um, they have not had a single word on the announcements since we got on the ship. <laughs> Oh, it won't work. No. Robert's so frustrated. Um, try logging into the Wi-Fi. He's going to try getting on the Wi-Fi, yeah. Um, thank you. Germany. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hello. That is amazing. So we watch a channel in Germany. Um, Morgan's Morgan. Very unofficial travel guide. Very unofficial travel guides, Morgan. He's based in Germany. We love his vlog. So if you're not watching him, you should. Um, Mary Ellen, I wish you could have been here too. Yeah, we are cruising with Nurse Nancy, Q's Cruisers, Dave and Brandy, and um, Kelly. Kelly, yes. And so we're very excited. The chat's been blowing up all week with everybody. We've made plans. Um, we are going to be on golf carts in every single port. Um, UTV in Aruba. UTV in Aruba. Hello, Anthony. Um, and we're very excited, very, very excited. This cruise we intend, as we have told you, like kind of going forward, we will be cruising in a much more casual way. Work's pretty stressful right now, so it's nice for Robert to be able to get on board and relax a little bit. There's Robert, he's there. Oh, you have to watch an ad? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we are going to Aruba, Bonaire, and Grand Turk. Aruba, Bonaire, and Grand Turk. And in Aruba, we will be there all day. From so. uh, 1 until 11 p.m., I believe. And yeah. then uh, Bonaire and then Grand Turk. 
the UK. Oh my goodness, Sharona, you know I want to go to the UK. <laughs> um, I would love to walk you guys around, but again, I can't on the inside of the ship because there is no, we can't get our phones to work inside the ship and we've had trouble with the internet. The internet is now working, but I am already live, so I can't log in to the internet. So I wouldn't be able yeah. to go inside. Um, but uh, I know Nurse Nancy said she was going to go live later, so she may have more luck than we do. Yeah. So. And we're not on the Lido deck because the music and then copyrights and then... Nancy's birthday, yeah. Yes. Yes, there is a lot of copyright issue if we go up to the pool decks or anything like that. So we are here tucked away on deck five on uh is that forward pretty sure that's forward so we yeah. would be on the port side yep um and we've got and some we've got beautiful ship candy in front of us which i will show you in just a minute norwegian jade and disney fantasy disney fantasy and um so yeah so we are very very excited about this we are in hey dave and brandy what are y'all doing here yeah are you are you possibly close by Man, we sure wish we could cruise with you. <laughs> so we had a good night last night. We got in uh, kind of early and uh, we met family and went and had dinner with family, which was nice. We haven't seen the Florida family in a while. Um, friend cruises are so fun. Who's watching? Who is Nancy watching? <laughs> you two kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Lido with Carla. Oh, hello, Carla. Oh, I'm so glad. And Sarah and Bob. Very nice, very nice. We could cruisers. cruisers, yeah. We couldn't go live from the balcony because they were loading the luggage and right there. Right there. So the it was like really loud. Beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> so Kingwood, Texas. Woohoo! Oh, thank, thank you, Joshua. So if y'all have any questions, just ask in the yes. chat and I we'll do our best to answer them. Yes. Um, this is I think our fourth time on Vista and um she's a good ship we enjoy her and we have um who's our cruise director marty marty we have marty we've had marty on panorama panorama we enjoyed marty yep lots and, of dad jokes yeah lots of dad jokes he, he's a very nice man yeah chatted with him several different times yeah and he was very engaging and uh, mm -hmm. lots of fun hi lucia Lu oh i can't see i'm so sorry lucilia Luc yep. yeah Destination fine. Hello, the Davis Zone. Hello, Savannah. I bet it's hot there. Yep, hot in Savannah. That's right. Yes. Uh, hi, Chris. Hi. Yeah, cool weather in Minnesota. It was already hot in Texas. It's already in the 90s at home. Yes. High humidity. Um, but yesterday was really nice. And then we got up this morning and we met Dave and Brandy and we boarded the ship nice and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, no traffic. Fast lift, you know. It, Super it, fast. It projected like an hour and three minutes and we got there in like 46 yeah yeah <laughs> no traffic whatsoever Since, i'll be happy to send the heat to you over there yes <laughs> except when i come to the uk no heat <laughs> i want the the you the lovely uh uk weather nice and cool because it is and dreary. rainy because it is warm here yes <laughs> so um, definitely we'll need a shower before dinner. <laughs> this day in November, what's the easiest way to get from Orlando Airport to Cocoa Beach Area Hotel? Oh, any recommend it left. Uh, any recommendations for transport or places to stay nearby? Um, we have found that I, we would rather just spend a little bit more money and just do a lift. The problem with you when you do like shuttles and stuff like that, and they stop at seven different hotels and then you're waiting and it's like okay how much time, time did yeah. you spend on that and for twenty dollars thirty dollars more would you Ooh, be better fun off for Alaska. Um, nice. i know bob and sarah from q's cruisers got into orlando very early this morning and then they drove to their hotel uh, near port canaveral yeah um, we have never stayed in the Port Canaveral area. We've always just stayed in Orlando and driven, driven or, or lifted. Got, got yeah. transportation. Yeah. To the you, port. You can also most of the hotels. Uh, if you stay near the airport, most of the hotels will have an airport shuttle, and then you will need to lift or hire Uber, Uber or something to the port. If you choose to then take a lift the evening or Uber from the airport to your hotel 
the night before, then you'll have a very short ride in the morning. Um, but allow yourself a little extra time because I can tell you, we have had trouble before with Lyft and Uber canceling rides because we're too close to the port and so they don't wanna take your ride because they can take somebody farther away and make more money. So keep just keep that in mind. That's why we kind of like to stay near the airport, get in, get to the airport, and then get to the cruise the next morning. New York City, we are coming back to New York, Steve. Definitely. We have not seen any kind of numbers as far as how full the ship is. Mm -hmm. I would imagine it's pretty full. Mm -hmm. um, we did get a, an email from Carnival saying it's spring break somewhere to expect delays yep. in the ship to be full, but I haven't noticed it being. Cheryl Chase, we actually have sold the camper. Yeah. Yeah. We, we talked about it in a couple of different videos, but uh, we just weren't using it enough. So we decided to let it go. Basically, we said to ourselves when we bought it, if we're not using it at least once a month, then it's got to go. Yeah. And, you know, it's got, it's, it, it, you have storage and, you know, maintenance and it just got really expensive to hang on to something we weren't using enough. Yep. So we do miss it and love it. We did very much love it. Yeah. So. Favor can't wait to get back to Don Antonio's in New York. I am, and, and, um, what's the bagel place? Modern Bread and Modern Bagel. Modern Bread and Bagel. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get back. And there was another pizza place I wanted to try also. Yeah. So, definitely need to go back. Mary Ellen Dillon, that is actually a very good idea. She okay. took the airport shuttle. Oh, the train also. Uh, yes, I'm not sure where Brightline, I know Brightline train will go from it Orlando. It whizzing past us this morning. But I don't know if it goes to Port Canaveral. I know it goes down to Fort Lauderdale and down no south. But I'm that's not, something not to look positive. at. Not positive, yeah. You would have to look at to see if it actually goes to Port Canaveral. But she took the air, airport shuttle to the hotel and then took the shuttle back to the airport and then was able to get Carnival transportation from the airport very clever port. that is a very good idea yep we are going to aruba bonaire and grand turk on this cruise i'm excited we have not been to grand turk it's been a very long i think bliss was the last time we were in grand turk i don't remember but it has been a very long time yes. steve the food would keep me there too <laughs> yes. how's the new kitty doing oh he's you guys so it'll be in the vlog coming up but his name we've named him lewis he is lewis and he is doing fabulous he went to the vet this past week he is very healthy um all his blood work is clear he doesn't have the the feline hiv like brucey does so we're very relieved of that and um yeah so he had all of his his vaccines and he goes the monday we get home he goes and gets his neuter and he'll be good to go and he's Bump about out. eight months Yes, you guys, he's much older than I thought he was. He is about eight months old. So getting him neutered was very important. <laughs> Not because of, because males, they develop behaviors, you know, as they become mature males. And we are trying to avoid those behaviors developing. So yes. Brucey really, even though he was older when he had his neuter, he really, he, y'all, Brucey is a therapy cat for other cats. He's so good. Anyway. Um, you have to watch the home vlogs for kitty cat content. And Buddy, we got a comment on a Facebook post this morning. It was like, when are you going to bring Buddy on a cruise? You guys, if they would let me, he'd be here right now. <laughs> Buddy is our dog, in case you don't know. <laughs> yes. He's adorable. He's very adorable. Yep. He has his mommy right here. <laughs> So, yes, we're very excited to go back to Grand Turk. It has been ages since we have been. And I think even, like, we weren't allowed in port, was it? I feel like we weren't allowed in port one time. We, or maybe that was, that, I think that was Deb and Brian weren't allowed. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, well, we were supposed to be on Venencia and. That's it, yeah. And I'm very, but got, the hurricane blew us to an, yeah. well, didn't blow us, that moved us. They changed, changed the our, itinerary. Yeah, changed the itinerary. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah. So, we're very excited. We're going to have a golf cart um, in Grand Turk. I, I said this, but I'll tell you again. We're going to have a golf cart in Grand Turk. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm going to feed me some donkeys. Donkey, donkey. I'm very excited about that. Do you know what that's from? Dodgeball. 
Roberts. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Sorry. Yeah, that's he always says that. It's Don't from the movie that. Dodgeball. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna buy some carrots and um. What am I looking forward to the most this trip? First of all, was seeing friends. I'm very yep. excited. We have not seen Nancy and Sarah since Adventure of the Seas. Yeah. So when the first cruise back from in the restart. Yeah. And, and we saw Dave and Brandy on Venezia, but that's ages ago. Yep. And <laughs> so. we finally get to meet Kelly, who is actually yes. one of our Facebook moderators who yes. has been known, known for yeah. yes. for what five or six years yeah. and we finally got to meet her in person and it's, and she's a delight yeah she's it's, lovely it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and yeah hanging out with friends is fantastic and mm -hmm. we've met so many people through cruising and we are very fortunate and we enjoy uh, yeah, it we yeah. do. yes um our friends carl and donna they were going to uh, be on this cruise but they they got a better offer <laughs> We're very jealous of the offers they got. Yeah. Um, but uh, so they're going to be on a different cruise. But D and J, we're D and J, we're going to be on this Scott. cruise. Yeah. There's yeah. But realize we booked this cruise like two years ago, and it's hard to book things, especially travel bloggers or especially people like when you're working. Mm -hmm. Plans change, things change, so you have to kind of change things up. Elliot and Matt, I loved our cruise with Elliot and Matt. Yep. Do you still? No, Bob, we don't. We do not have the RV. We sold the RV. Yep. Um, we she, we got a fantastic price on this cruise. Oh my goodness! Oh, that I forgot to put it in the description box. Okay, after I go live, I actually put it all in my notes so I could put it in the description box for you. But so once we're done live, I will update the description box so you can see all of our expenses for this cruise. You guys, out the door, out, cruise tips, tax. Tips, tax, and something else. Gratuities. Gratuities. That's tips. Yeah, all of it. it was like twelve forty four. For a balcony. For on a, a an cove cruise. balcony. Yeah. On an eight night. Y'all, we were coming on this cruise no matter what. Yep. So we were very excited. We booked this a long time ago. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave and Brandy. <laughs> Dave and Brandy, when they booked it. A couple of years ago, they called us and they were like, hey, you got to book this. Look at this. It's great. And we did. We listened mm -hmm. to them. So everybody's Hashtag in Brandy's fault. That's right. Everybody's in the Havana. We are not. We are not in the Havana. So um, when we booked this, uh, the Havana still opened up at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. at night for everyone. And we just didn't have a good experience with that when we were on Vista Havana. So we didn't book the Havana. But um, knowing now that they've changed it to where it's always private, we would yeah. have booked the Havana. Yeah. So maybe. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more expensive and the deal we got on this, I don't know. I don't know, and I love the Coke balcony, so maybe we wouldn't have. Yeah. Just maybe to be with everybody else. Right. So maybe that would have been the reason. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's probably so hard to find the rate for. Yeah, that was probably just yeah. COVID or. Yeah. Shh, are we allowed to say that? I have no about? idea. The cruising had just kind of started re. Getting re upping, back. yeah. And, and we, we. Let's see. I, Laura, hi, Lori. Hi, hi, hi. Connor. Hi, Connor. Hi. We had a ton of OBC on this cruise, also, like from. I don't. I don't know if it was from cancellations or moved cruises. moved cruises we i i honestly don't know because it was an odd amount it was three hundred dollars and then we had a hundred dollars from our shareholders benefit that's the word right or maybe it was 200 and 100 i don't know it's in my notes i have to put it in here um but we and then carnival ran the 25 percent off internet and drink package if you bought them together so we did that so i used my onboard credit for that and then we booked Gigi's, used onboard credit for that. That's gonna be a girl's thing. That's a girl's night. And then um, the guys don't like it. So we'll just go have our Gigi's. And I intend to have sushi. Pizza and tacos are for. <laughs> I already had my, my French fries. And the, my screen is going dark, y'all. Quickly, it's going dark. And they it's had, so hot out here. it's very hot, yeah. They had um, these little empanada things in the buffet and it was filled with brisket 
and cheese and potato and it was gluten-free and it was delicious delicious so pop in this week for another live Chris I don't know we may try we have four C days which is lovely so we'll have to see if we can squeeze one in um, a lot of times when we cruise with friends it's hard because we want to you know it's very limited time with our friends so it's hard to really find a time it's also sometimes hard to find a quiet place yeah. to be able to go live this spot right here this is fabulous but if we were I'm gonna show them if we were um, on a regular C day it wouldn't you wouldn't it wouldn't be this quiet yeah. okay YouTube changed the little icon so let me flip you around and I'm gonna show you where we are there we go so we're on deck five this is there's the lanai so the barbecue place is on the other side yes so and then there is the disney fantasy i'll take you closer i know the the window is dark hello and that's the norwegian jade out there and then that is let me come out here it's gonna my screen's gonna yeah that's forward gonna go completely dark so but there she is i know you're looking through the window i apologize and there's jade so yeah, oh yeah, just stand on the railing, Robert. But look at this nice little sitting area right here. And then these, how lovely are these? That's and quiet. it is, it's so quiet, it's very nice. What's in here? I don't know. Um, this is, oh, the jewelry shop. <laughs> so, and then you can see all the way down to aft, back, you know, down that direction. We are on deck five and, um, I have to tell you, we kind of walked around the ship a little bit on the interior in the atrium. They have changed that up a little bit post um, revamp, dry What's, dock. Dry dock. And um, it's, it's nice. The candy shop's kind of in a different spot. Um, they have the new style carnival merch store mm -hmm. and I really like it. Um, they have Yetis in there, like actual Yetis with wow. Carnival Vista on them. And, um, oh, I didn't bring it with me. They have this new necklace. I'll put it in stories, on Instagram stories, which will then transfer to Facebook. Um, they have uh, these new little necklaces. Hi, Kizzy. Hi. Um, we are in Port Canaveral. <laughs> um, step away from the jewelry shop. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, what was we... it? Oh, the new necklaces. Yes. They're little sliders and they go on a chain and they're different colors and like each color says a different thing so they handed it to me when i was walking by so i think that may be replacing or adding to the charm of the day but i'll put them on stories so that you can see oh and the the platinum gift is a makeup bag not a makeup bag a what is it called your liquids on the plane you know like your shampoo conditioner that that kind TSA of bag. bag no it's got a specific name where's my brain i have no idea not here he got up and walked away toiletry Yay, that's it ca cruiser, CA cruiser. that's it good, thank you good call good call <laughs> uh galveston is getting msc cruise ship sorry um, hit me just that's fine didn't touch that sweaty arm and just went <laughs> uh msc is building a cruise terminal and they are putting, I think it's the Sea View, is uh, in 2025. We just got Jubilee in Galveston last year. Uh, they just brought Harmony over the end of last year to replace Allure. Um, Norwegian has started sailing like five or six months out of the year, Prima for the next couple years. And then I think there's one where it's like one month it's breakaway. It's it's kind of odd, I thought. Um, Hi, Caleb. And then um, Disney is cruising a little bit out of Galveston. So they're doing a lot of really cool and amazing things out of Galveston. Um, we so. just need to get them to beef up the ports a little bit. Maybe longer cruise. I know that's hard for some, but well, our Harmony cruise at the end of this year is, it is it's an eight day, but it's it's Cozumel, Coco Key, and Nassau. So that'll be awesome. So Very it excited gives about us that. Lots of sea days to explore the ship Eat. and have a good time. And then 
unusual ports for sailing out of Galveston. Yeah. And then we are on Jubilee in July with Dave and Brandy. And we're very excited about that and family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's hard when there's Mardi Gras. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. very busy in, in Galveston. And also they have the, um, the bike parade thing down there that gets very busy too. Um, and but, 45 is under, always under construction, yeah. so it takes forever to get anywhere. <laughs> it does, it does. But it's so nice to cruise out of Galveston. You don't have to have flights, you don't have to any we of don't. that. Right, we don't, exactly. Yeah. So, And we do have New York on the docket coming up, but we're not sure work-wise if we're going to be able to go, so we haven't really said anything about that, but we do really want to go back. Um, we had flight credit that we had to use by the end of August, so that's why we upgraded this flight fancy pants upgraded this flight and you then feel we sorry for robert now <laughs> we upgraded this flight and then we uh booked Escaped another one because otherwise we would have just lost, lost the money lost the money yeah and it's Seascape. funny okay it's funny because um hi steven <laughs> the um the flight was actually canceled by lufthansa we didn't cancel our flights lufthansa canceled our flight which is annoying as to why you have to 43 days on msc seashore have fun caleb have fun you'll have a blast um the uh they canceled our flight so it's annoying that we had to use up all the flight credit in six months because i mean i guess the idea behind it is they cancel it you rebook it using those funds but the whole trip was then canceled which we we yeah, chose we to chose make. yeah that started the snowball yeah. the cancellation of the lufthansa flights and the strike and everything that was going on um that kind of freaked us out so but it all worked out for the best because we're going to be going in october of next year and the ship will be well underway she will be very well established it's I, it's not the same ports he doesn't get to go to um greece at, uh, athens yeah they just, we just need to have to go back yeah. i mean darn i gotta get to the uk i mean we got we got plans <laughs> dreams that's what we got <laughs> that's right that's why i said we got dreams <laughs> so M R C J E Y M O U S E. oh wait wrong ship yeah i'm sorry what'd you say that's that one <laughs> yes <laughs> it's been a while that's yes. what the comment is yes it has been a while um we last cruised on, um, what is the red ship? <laughs> Virgin. Virgin, good grief, y'all. We need this vacation. We sailed on Virgin. You guys, the review is coming up and the um, gluten-free on Virgin Void, those videos are edited and uploaded and they will be loading while we are away. <laughs> um, that was- We were surprised how much we really enjoyed Virgin. Daily pictures on Instagram, YouTube stories. What? Yes, I always post on YouTube stories. I mean, excuse me, Instagram stories, which then transfers to YouTube. Eh. Wrong answer. I always post on Instagram, which automatically transfers to Facebook. And so our stories, every single day, it's like live vlogging. I will post stories. Sometimes there's a little bit of a d delay. It depends on the internet or the port or whatever. And I try and also post a reel every day and a short. Not every day, every port day. A reel and every port day, a short. Uh, sometimes the shorts are a little more difficult because it's YouTube and it's kind of finicky. Um, but uh, yeah, and we like to post pictures and stuff from the day. But Instagram, I'm always on stories. That's, where, that's yeah. when we're on the ships. That's my favorite. Actually, stories is my absolute favorite. So, and then. As of right now, we have no plans on doing Icon. It's just. Too expensive. Too expensive. Uh, Top two cruise lines. You want to answer and that then, one? How's Little Dog? Little Dog's not doing great, but he's okay. Um, we have to increase his medication. He's coughing more and more and more. But he's still spunky and active eating and, and active. So he's, we're not in the danger zone yet. No. So he's still doing pretty good. Um, Icon is crazy expensive, crazy. And I'm hoping when the next one comes out, Star. Star, I'm hoping that Icon will kind of go, hey, all you people that really couldn't want, afford. couldn't afford us, uh, here we are. Um, it's just, 
it's hard when you can take two cruises, you know, for the price of one. We love yeah. Royal. Y'all know this. Y'all know we love Royal. We have Harmony coming up. But I think we're going to have to, like, avoid Icon until her prices come down. We also need to sell Wonder. Wonder's on the list as well. Yep. So. And we'll be on Harmony. Harmony, yep. Good afternoon, Vista family. I have an important announcement. We're getting our self-mustering process. Yeah. Y'all, they said that I didn't muster. We got on the ship, we went to the cabin and threw the luggage down, and then we went to um, muster. And when they ch they scanned my little paper, family $113,000 for the family townhouse suite on Icon. No. <laughs> No. Um, anyway, so we went to Buster. We, I, I made my video. I, I recorded her putting on her life vest for us. And then uh, we went about our day. And I went to go buy a coffee. And she was like, I'm sorry, I can't serve you because you have not gone to Buster. And I went, I went to Muster. <laughs> go to Wait, Muster. I have the video. I went to Muster. I was, I was offended that she thought I didn't go to Muster. She's like, ma'am, I, I can't help you. You have to go back to your Muster station and let them check you in. I was like, but I did go. And she was like, I can't. And I said, I know you can't help me, but I just want you to know I did go. <laughs> we are going to Aruba, Bonaire, and Grand Turk. What would you say our two favorite cruise lines are right now? <laughs> I was going to let you... <laughs> Um, it just sucked in exhaust. I was going to let you answer that one because you, you wouldn't believe it if we told you, but um, yeah. I mean, 99% of all cruises are great cruises. That's right. But the top two right now are Princess and Virgin. Yep. That's right. I mean, we love Royal. We love uh, Carnival. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get her back on Norwegian. Do you like Royal or Carnival better? Um they're neck and neck really I, I have to tell depends you depends on the ship it does depend on the ship and if you asked me if I liked Carnival Vista versus Oasis I'd be like Oasis hands down if you asked me Mardi Gras versus that's adventure the, adventure you know, then I'd pick Mardi Gras but that's that's the thing though the carnival's changing um, so somebody just said hi to me. I think it's Stephanie. Hi. Um, Carnival's changing and I like that they're changing. It, it's been a long time coming. The new Excel class ships are a different kind of cruise for Carnival. And I like that. I'm excited to sail Jubilee this summer to see how similar it is an experience, not just the ship, but an experience as it was on, uh, Mardi Gras for us. Mardi Gras is not kind of an unfair comparison because we sailed at 60% capacity right. on Mardi Gras. So, um, life in my empty nest. Hey, hey, hey. So we'll have to see what 5,500 people on Jubilee it's feels like, like. In July, out of Texas. Heat. Yeah. I mean, that could be so, kind of a deal breaker and we just don't enjoy it. Oh, 2.30 a.m. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things. We we like each cruise line for its own thing, but mm -hmm. the difference in Virgin and all the rest, you are going to have to watch our review because it is significantly different. And we were concerned that Virgin was different just to be different. You know how sometimes they do that and they just want to be different and stand out from the crowd but then it's never a good thing it's like okay you stand out from the crowd but it's not better it's right. you know it's not it's really go back to the regular stuff right. but but this just wait that'll be up this week on the channel yes i'll be paying attention to the nfl draft on my phone of course he will be yes um and then um chris is gonna be on jubilee next weekend awesome chris gross. oh oh chris i'm sorry we'll miss you um have fun have so much fun it's not too terribly hot yet um <laughs> david smith the things he misses for favor <laughs> yeah it's yeah she really had to twist my arm to get me to go on this yeah <laughs> yeah we are trying several celebrity next year yes it is very loud i do agree the music is very loud and it often is too loud and in 
places where you wish it wasn't. I don't mind loud music, yeah, but, but there needs to be there needs kind to of a be, spot where you like go. this. Yeah, this is great. But the problem was is when you come here, when the ship is underway, these speakers blast out music, and so it's hard to have a conversation with friends or whatever without screaming at each other. So I don't mind the music; they just need to. Do you know what that's from? Anyway, so there you go. I mean, we obviously we're older, but we like a party too. I mean, but yeah. we do like some quiet and like to be able to socialize and visit with friends without screaming. So, um, or sitting in our cabin or sitting inside in the library or something, you know. Do so. you feel like the waits for food are longer on the bigger ships? Robert Texans are looking great this time. Yes, Texans. Uh, no. Not, not realistically. I mean, it all just depends on the specific event on a sea day. When the buffet opens, yeah, it's going to be a little busier. You wait a half hour, a lot of the lines calm down a little bit. But, yeah. And there's enough little taco place or burger place that you can go to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, that that's... Yeah. I, yeah, I never really found the wait times to be terrible on any of the ships. Yeah. Um, but I did want to say this before I forget, because I'm going to forget... Them not letting me buy my coffee it must because they thought I had not done my muster is such a good thing. I am so happy to learn that now you cannot use your card to purchase anything until you've gone to muster. So if you... Your head's chopped off. <laughs> if you... <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> if you um, go to buy a coffee, a drink at the bar, or whatever, they're going to tell you, you have to go to muster. You cannot get anything and that is so nice and let me just tell you there have been you've heard the two announcements that we have heard and it's getting close to the cutoff time that's why they've made the two quick quiet announcements so i like that mm -hmm. but we're gonna have to wrap this up soon because favor is quickly melting <laughs> what are your favorite ports to visit favorite ports uh aruba curacao half moon key um I'm very excited about Grand Turk. I, I really think that's gonna be in my top five. I really like the ports where you can just get off the ship and you don't have to spend any money. You can just get off the ship, or maybe it's five bucks to, to hop in a taxi and zip to a beach. Eagle Beach in Aruba. Eagle Beach, yeah, or you can just walk right to a beach, or you can, those are my favorites. Um, or the ones that have a little bit of shopping and then some, you know, or food, like they have like food right in the ports. Um, the, those are like Cozumel, I, I like that. Those kind of ports. Cute shirt favor. Did you find the, <laughs> the pool Thank size you. on Virgin too small? Yes. yes. <laughs> but, but we are not pool people, so. No. It is very small, I will tell you that. It yeah. is beyond people soup. We're not pool people, so it didn't really bother us and didn't take away from the cruise yep. for us. If you are a pool person, you will not enjoy the people soup. That was the worst yeah. people soup I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, that's like with Sun Princess. And one of the reasons why we postponed it was the theater, arena theater, the dome. Uh, not that we would have done Spellbound. Spellbound was an open. And we wouldn't have done it because it was overpriced. Yes. $150, and, not a chance. And the uh, loft, the playground up top, you know, all those things weren't going weren't open so that would have affected our cruise if they would have said hey the pools aren't open that doesn't affect our cruise at all because we, we don't swim yeah. on the cruise ship no that's just not our thing mm -mm. so when people were getting irritated well you can't expect a cruise ship to be ready yes i well, can yes i can because i paid full price for it right. it's not discounted i mean that's just it yeah. yeah if they discounted it and said hey the cruise isn't ready you know we're not getting Here's these eight things. So. Twenty percent off. Right. You know, Arizona. Woohoo! Yeah. So um, it's it just a matter of personal opinion. What you want on a cruise? If mm -hmm. you want a pool, you want Virgin's probably not the line for you. If you want a pool, but that's not something we we utilize. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. No, but they do have interesting pools on Virgin. Not They're... yet on the Funfetti. Oh, not yet. He will. Oh yeah. He definitely will. I already had my fries. Y'all know that. I intend to have sushi as many times on this cruise as I possibly can. It's, I was so <laughs> spoiled with that on Virgin. What? 
I heard the paid for area in Coco Key is so loud. The, oh. new, the new one. Oh, is it? I don't, I don't know. I'm, well, we'll find out. Well, I mean, we're not paying for extras, but we will be in Coco Key in October. Yep. Yeah. So. Big day. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So, um, and spoiler: the food on Virgin over the top delicious. The second best pizza, gluten free pizza I've ever had. So, yeah. And it's funny, the food for Robert on Virgin was not his favorite. No. I'm a very picky eater. That is 100% my fault. I, but I, I thought he no. ate well. No, I, I mean, I ate well, but something like beef or steak tacos, which yeah, kind of seems didn't have like that. something that would be easy yeah, that to would do. would be nice. Gluten free funfetti cake. And, uh, they didn't have steak or beef tacos. No, they had chicken. They I had could chicken. have eaten at Pink Agave every single day. They had chote. Oh my God, it was so good. And the sandwich shop and the places closed. A lot of them closed at like at three o'clock. three o'clock, yeah. And when you have four ports on a seven day cruise, you're only really eating lunch on the ship twice. Yeah. So we, we missed those. So I wish they were open a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> But, yeah, but a lot of that is just because I don't like certain things and I'm picky. Yeah, but, but he certainly didn't go hungry. They oh, had no, pizza, no. They, had they had pizza, they had burgers, they had fries, they had, yeah, you know. Yeah, they, they, had, they had plenty of stuff. Yeah. I, I did not yeah. starve. Who, Trust whole, me, I did not starve. Whole food, plant-based plant, plant -based foods on the ship. I know Virgin can do that. So you might want to look into that. Um, so, yeah. I haven't heard anything on the new uh, Coco K as far as price I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's out there i just haven't paid enough attention yeah. to it we don't when we get to go to the private islands we try our very best not to have to um add anything we used to do the cabana yeah. half monkey we stopped um, we now stopped. we do the clamshells clamshells the benefit of doing a clamshell is it's relatively inexpensive and it gets you on one of the first water shuttles. Everywhere in the UK, that's where I want to visit. The Cotswolds, I want to go to Shropshire. I want to meet Elliot and Matt in their little neck of the woods. I want to go to London. I want to go, I know this is, I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to, uh, I, yeah, I hear, I know it's not, but I hear that Ireland has like the best gluten-free food on the planet, even better than Italy. I find that hard to believe. I, I know, me too. <laughs> We'll just have to compare, right? <laughs> anyway, but yeah. I didn't, on Virgin, I didn't hear, or, and I probably wasn't looking in the app or anything like that, where they had specific solo meetup or events. So yeah, I'm not sure I don't about know. That. I have honestly don't know. Um, the app, like the, the activities listing was a little unusual on Virgin. It like, it wasn't everything. And it was, I don't know, I enjoyed their app. I actually found their app to be quite thorough, but except for the activities listing. So Ireland bucket list place to visit. Yeah, me too, let's go. I'm ready, somebody take me. Um, I wanna go when it's cool, not cold. Um, I don't think, I think I would freeze to death in the UK in the winter. I would literally freeze. <laughs> I think it's colder than Alaska. <laughs> That's what I picture. Probably. Is. <laughs> well, my problem is I've got just sucked in on these shorts and reels and stories on Switzerland. And I keep showing favor. I'm like, we have to go here. We have to go here. Yeah, we have to go here. They have to have a color filter on them. You just go to YouTube or to Instagram and do Switzerland, Switzerland reels or shorts or whatever. Yeah. Just, just look at them and tell me that that does not have a color filter on it. There is no way there is a place on earth that beautiful <laughs> and it's, how could it be that beautiful and the the one the one video it's like this vibrant blue rushing water and it's a walkway on the kind of the side of this cliff mm. over <laughs> the water uh, over the river it's Amazing. just absolutely gorgeous kelly life on the blood we are all in the lido hi kelly hi kelly wait that's guy and kelly oh okay She's telling us, hey, we're in the Lido. Stop your yapping and get up here. Yeah, I told them we'd be live like 15, 20 minutes. So <laughs> we are going to go ahead and I'm going to try and do more lives this week. Um, 
Well, it's 7.45 p.m. here and 44 degrees. I'm jealous. I love that cold weather. We are so excited to cruise with you this week. Me That's too. Me too, Nancy. Me too. So we've already, you know, given hugs all around. Everybody's giving hugs. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. We will try and go live again, and I will try and drag some of our friends in the live with us. <laughs> so that way you guys can see them too. And um, thank you so much for joining us here today. I appreciate stop your time. Stop tackling people from Carl. <laughs> no, I'm not going to stop tackling people. I'm going to tackle Donna when I see her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nurse Nancy is on the ship. Yes. Uh, Bob and Sarah from Q's Cruisers. Dave and Brandy from Dave and Brandy's Excursions. Uh, Carla McClendon is uh, going to be on the ship. I have We haven't seen her yet. And uh, Guy and Kissy. Kelly. Yes, Guy and Kelly. It's going to yeah. be a great week. I'm very excited. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to the ports. And I'm also looking forward to four sea days. Yes. More sushi for a favor. More french fries for a favor. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We sincerely appreciate you and appreciate your time here this weekend. And uh, we'll see you as often as we can. I know Nurse Nancy is going to go live. So please, if not of Nurse Nancy, please look at her YouTube channel and watch for her live to come up today. And um, I'm sure Bob and Sarah from Q's yeah. Cruisers. Oh, you think they'll go live? I don't know if she said anything, but yeah, watch and for Dave Q's and Brandy Cruisers. Excursions. Dave and Brandy, yeah. So just watch. I'm sure they'll throw up a chat room if, when they're going to go live. So be sure to watch for that. So, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to them and they will have vlogs too. So, you know, lots, lots to watch from this vlog. Yep. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye. Thank y'all. Where's the off button? Y'all, YouTube changed it. How do I do it? Is that it? Oh, please. If this deletes this, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs>